He played only 32 snaps last year for the Philadelphia Eagles. Nobody more excited to be back on the field. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro welcoming in defensive tackle Malik Jackson. Hi, Malik. It's good to see you, man. Likewise, likewise. How, does it, how does it feel to be back on the field? It's, just, it's awesome. You know, it's funny. The first day we were out there, we put full pads on. I, I shed a little tear. It was kind of weird. You know, I'm not a big crier. But um, it's just it's just awesome to get back out there to, to do what you love and not have to watch people do it. So it was nice. I like to hear that human emotion. Why do you think um, you shed the tear? Um, just because it was taken away. You know, it's one of those things when things are taken away from you. It sucks, you know. But uh, going home to L.A., some of my good friends are guys that weren't able to in their career on their terms. So for me, I was able to have a good understanding of it's just an injury and I have a chance to come back and play and end on my terms. So um, it's very humbling, but i um, just happy to be back. Where are you physically? How are you out on the field when you watch film? Are you seeing Malik Jackson, the Malik Jackson you want to see? No, I think I'm physically I'm good. Uh, this offseason I worked really hard on getting stronger because when I came out to the NFL, I was a tweener. And that was one of those things that I wanted to get stronger, so I really tried to beef up the upper body. But, yeah, watching the film, I think I'm, my get-off is good. I, I was able to have a year to truly understand what Coach Schwartz wants. You know, um, coming from Denver, then Jacksonville, this whole get-off technique wasn't a thing. You know, I'm sitting there engaging and reading. So this year allowed me to sit there and kind of dissect the defense and see what he wants and take time learning it. So I think I've gotten better. I think my timing with my pass rushes still has to kind of creep up. I'm seeing things, but I'm not reacting fast enough. Um, so I think that that can get better and um, a little bit more conditioning. But I think I'm doing well. Just got to start, you know, just the little the little things, just the little things, yeah. Do you feel whole again, if you know what I mean? I feel whole. It's just weird, you know. Um, I had a coach come up to yesterday. He's like, Malik, where's your smile before practice? And I'm like, Coach, you got to get me to after practice. You know, let me get <laughs> let me get through a few periods, make sure, you know, because even though the foot's 100%, you know, you still, I personally still have to get through some mental blocks, you know what I'm saying, of just – just accepting it, you know. When I when I'm in when I'm in between the lines on the field, I'm good. I don't even think about it. But you know, just kind of getting out there, you just gotta make sure you warm it up. Just make sure you did enough, and uh, so that's where I'm at. It's really interesting. I don't think fans really understand the mental side of coming back from an injury that robs you of 15 games. Yeah. Maybe more difficult than the physical side. Uh, definitely, definitely, because the physical side, you know, like just step on it, like ah, it's good, you know. But like I, I was telling my coach, you know, I want to go out there. I want to have somebody fall on it. You know, I want to have somebody step on it, you know what I'm saying? Really feel what it's like, you know, in those trenches, getting 30 plays and try to do moves off of it, you know, really see if I can turn it, turn it, or if it's going to get, you know, a little sore, you know, because it's your foot. You don't think about how much you use your feet, you know, until you hurt them. But, uh, yeah, it's just just trying to just break those mental blocks. And uh, it's coming along well. You know, we got some good old linemen here that allow me to do moves and do things to get in positions, but not like a game, so... Malik, last, last question here for you. What do you see with this defensive tackle group and this defensive line group? I see consistency. It's one of those things. I think we have a uh, – I know we have a good coaching staff and Coach Burke, uh, Coach Washburn, and Coach Nate Ollie. And uh, between BG and Fletch, you know, those guys have been here forever. So when they have guys like me, Hargrave, even uh, Ridgeway come in, you know, we understand. When Fletch says one, two steps, we know one, two steps. We Coach tells us, we see Fletch do it, and vice versa, the NCBG do it. So – I think we have consistency. I think we have a hard-nosed group of guys that want to come out here, and everybody wants to be a pro bowler and be great, and uh, they all want to work for it. They just don't say it. So I think we have a really good group. It's just staying healthy and being consistent. All you got to do is go out there and create havoc, man. And that's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Malik, welcome back, Malik Jackson. We can't wait to see you on the field September 13th against Washington. Thank you. Thank you.